Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlogs. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely week. I have actually missed you all a lot. Um, I thought I'm just gonna do like a cute weekend vlog this weekend, yeah, because I have some like nice things planned with my flatmates and well, we're all pretty much going home next week because it's a travel window for students. So we're gonna like make a roast dinner and like do some like Christmas things because you all loved seeing them in my what was it oh a night in vlog if you haven't watched that go watch that it's actually such a cute video um so yeah i'm just gonna take you along for the for the ride um i've done my makeup today and i feel so much more human i woke up this morning i slept with wet hair so you know when your hair when you wake up and your hair is just like Oh my god, I, I looked in the mirror, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, you need to sort yourself out now, you look like a stay. So I feel so much better, I put a little bit of makeup on, and we're just going to pop into town because uh, we're going to just go for our daily walk, we're going to get Starbucks, and then we're going to go to m &S to get our roast dinner for tomorrow. So I'm super excited because the m and in Selfridges is literally the best m and you have ever been to in your life. It honestly, oh god this light, there we go. It honestly reminds me of um, Whole Foods. We don't have a Whole Foods in Manchester, so this Selfridges, this m and is literally like the second best to it. Um, and I'm just gonna run into town in this outfit today. Let me give you a little outfit of the day. Um, it's this cute, oh god I need a new camera for Christmas. Can we, is that focus? I never know. It's this cute um, tracksuit. Obviously, I'm not going to wear these slippers. Oh my god, my feet just look tiny. It's this gorgeous, like, charcoal dark grey colour. It's a cropped jumper. And then joggers. This is from, oh god, Style Addict. Because I was out for my walk with Naomi and she wore hers and she's got the grey one. And I was like, oh my god, like I just want a cute tracksuit which is really good quality. And um, is like matching perfectly, like the same colour. It does come from Australia and it did take about just under a week to get here. Which is actually not too bad. Um, the grey one is actually out of stock so I'm on like the waiting list for the grey one which I'm very excited for I tried a new lip combo today what do you all think I did cheat on Morphe Morphe if you're watching this don't watch this skip past this but basically what I did is I outlined my lips with makeup talk by Morphe and then I used I was in boots yesterday and I picked up this lipstick on the NYX counter and I was like I love NYX but I never, like I always forget to buy from NYX and I remember T. Linica put this on a story, she uses the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade London. I was like, oh my god, yeah. I was like, I haven't used that for years. So I picked one up and I put it on today. I literally just lined my lips and then I put this on and it is gorgeous. I feel like it makes my lips so much plumper, so shout out to shade london nyx i will be using that for the foreseeable but this clip is four minutes long and i've just rumbled on so we're gonna go to town okay we're just on our way to town now i don't know why opposite outfits by the way oh yeah we are actually i'm wearing all white trackies so i've got black black coat black and black. then monoc monocratic mm -hmm. in this household um, we're just thinking why we're going into town because it is pissing it down yes. and we can't sit in anywhere so Sorry silly decisions for us We are going to get m and but we're just going to have to no, I don't know We're in Starbucks, where else would we be? And we got the same thing Can anyone guess what I got? Thank you! Thank you! Welcome! Again So walk in the streets of Manchester like the city girls we are. are you done city with girls your... make them wrist light raging. Let me, Let me talk, talk to them. Are you done with your hot chocolate? Yeah. It's too short to see the end, I never finish it. Oh, okay. We are now walking to MS. Get some dinner. It is Just us aimlessly walking around the city. This office guy is staring at me. 
um, we have to say it is a little bit like not dodgy, but there is some characters walking around town. It's so do be a little funny. bit scary. And there was three massive police like trucks parked outside Zara. I've we, seen so many police cars just walking around. I don't, I don't really. Is need it because of lockdown or is it? Maybe. Of... Oh, those drums! Someone is playing the drums. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, quite badly. Um, and it's giving me a little bit of a headache. Can you hear them? Oh, look inside that. Sounds like the Queen's Parade. Oh, oh yeah, that's a hotel. Yeah, wow. Let me talk to them. Oh, do you want to fuck JT? They do. Okay, Pull up to your life, please. Three. Make 55. Suck JT. Ow. You want to manage with a new body? Many can't fuck with me. I look like Edna Moore with this hair. Like who? Edna Moore. Have you not seen Incredibles? Oh, it's her. I don't know her last name. Why do you not know her last name? I don't know, why do you know her last name? Uh, we're at MLS now, and there's a big queue, and we're going shopping for our roast. Roast dinner tomorrow. I don't know how to make gravy though. <laughs> this is my favourite aisle in MLS. It's like the freshly prepared meals. And look at this chicken. It comes with vegetables. Vegetables, like garlic butter. And then I bought this the other day. This is like a slab of lasagna, and it is so good. And they've got a veg one. So you're gonna buy that for? Yeah. Do you want one as well? Because we can just get two. Should we just get two? What, what else should we eat with? And um, we'll look for some. Well, not a meal. Let's just put it in. Well, like potatoes. Yeah, we can have potatoes with yeah. it. Let's bite it. Then we'll share it. My hair looks crazy. Perfect. Yeah, it's straight in our basket. Okay, so the trolley's actually stacked up. We've got some roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, and look, we're gonna get this chicken right. to eat because that just looks easy really to nice. cook. And we're going to have a Chinese... Got Chinese food and we've got like a half a duck. We're going to have a Chinese little Chinese feast, aren't we? So much food How good is that? I know. And then I bought... Oh yeah. This is for... This is for next week. But I saw this on Melissa... Melissa's wardrobe story. And she raves about this. So I bought it because I'm easily influenced. First year where I have to buy myself an advent calendar. And this is the selection. Oh, got a Where's Wally one. And they've got Percy Pigs. Solar system. Hmm. Or oh, they have this Santa's selection. Assortment of solid, hot. Oh no, solid. I don't even like chocolate. Caramel filled chocolates. No, thank you. I've spotted the Whispering Angel. Nowhere sells this. Nowhere okay. sells this. The ones do not do not sell. I don't even like Whispering wine. Angel. Do you not? Really? Am oh, I going to drink bags. it? No, I'm not. But it's just so bags. pretty to look at. What? They've got bags of wine. Oh my god, why are you we know. getting so excited? We can drink straight like this. You know in America, like this. When <laughs> oh, yeah, they, when they have house parties. You see how much you can fit in. Two standard bottles. How much? 17 bottles, <laughs> two bottles. I think Whoa. we down this all tomorrow. I say we just do it. I think we're just getting so excited because it's in a bag. <laughs> and there's a box. That is very cool. Oh, it's Getting way too excited in the Prosecco aisle. <laughs> It was still in m &S. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing else to do. I'm having the best time. When I get home. Do it. Well, buy one, man. I've got that big knife on the steel. I'll have some pineapple. Yeah. It's, it's 65p. Is there anything else we need? Um, I'm just having a good time. I don't. And look really. what we bought. Ooh, just for a little like dessert, you know. And we bought baby cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> And they make their own fresh garlic bread. Guys, look at this box. <laughs> this is, whoa. <laughs> this is the least student friendly shop in the whole world. <laughs> but it's the advent calendar for me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What kind, do you know what? Shop with us. <laughs> what trust supposed to try? <laughs> Wait, she's taking over my channel. What kind of student goes and does a whole big shop at M&S? Yeah, but it's just the best M&S ever. It's because I don't eat. I won't eat unless, oh, this pineapples are nice. <laughs> Let's just do a full lap again because that was just, oh my god. Maybe we get sausage Maybe we get one of these. They weren't there on the last time we went there. Have a look at this. I can't, I don't know how you use this well, camera. Oh, oh that means we've got to eat it now. Base, butter basted chicken. Oh my god, that smells yes. amazing. These and not Nobody in the West Bushwood M&S. And look, there's pancakes as well. But it's not in This is not in the West Bushwood M&S. Mini pancakes! They're not in the West Bushwood M&S. The pancakes, guys. Mini. You know the little TikTok ones? Oh. Still. Very cute. Alright, are we done? 
I think we're done. I think my bag can't quite take no more. I'm just going to break my camera in a minute. Oh my god, there's so many people. Screw it. They do. Oh my god, I want one. I want one. I'll get that for you for Christmas. It's not focusing. Um, this is our. This is our spread. Oh, that is a sign. A sign. Some guy in the flat above. We were just walking up the stairs and he tried to chat Alicia up. He goes to us. Are you two from Essex? And I'm like. Nine? I don't think I sound like I'm from Essex. I thought I've never heard that before. He was like, what about Birmingham? And I'm like, Birmingham? Do I sound like He said that to me as well. I don't sound like no one from London. Big man. I'm not from Brom. I don't fuck with I don't think we sound like, we don't I don't think we sound. Why is, what is that? What is that bar? What is that substance? That's not, that's not my shelf. That's my shelf. But what is that substance? So tonight we have, Half a duck, and we have this share box that we're gonna yeah. eat. I'm very excited for. Can I throw this? Who uh, said? No, throw it. It was minutes. And then that we've got everything for our flat roast dinner tomorrow. This is the best snack. Let me show you. Chinsia got me hooked on this. It's velvet hummus and baby cucumbers. What's velvet hummus? It's just like smoother. Oh, and like a smoother hummus. I've never seen that. It is very, very delicious, but it only comes in these little pots. Um, I bought some bread and some ham and some cheese. Go. Yorkshire. At least she gives me, do you want Yorkshire puddings? I'm like, I don't know what? what I have them at home. That is a roast in a staple, surely. It's like, they're not my favourite. Only actually be carvery. What the hell? Guys, I'm just gonna disown her now. And of course, I've got my Melissa wardrobe mac and cheese. I'm so excited to try this, you have no Look idea. Look how satisfying me that. Where's Look how satisfying me this fix in the fridge. How do you, what, what are you doing? Come here. The there look. you go. It fits so it. nicely in the fridge. Fridge tour. I'm just starting my vlogging career now. This is just a practice. A uh, veg. Um, and this is, oh wait, I picked up a piece of salmon for next week, just, don't know, I'm scared to say anything again. Whoa, you're all right. <laughs> My salmon, we'll just get there. Gravy, we picked up this chicken gravy. The Yorkshire puddings are in the fridge. Fridge. Yeah, because Alicia, where do you live? Watford. I live in Watford. Just so like they go London. into level two, and I have to go back to Knotts and level three. So, so I can go out for one. dinner. I can go out for my birthday. My birthday's on Christmas Day, though. Deep that. Deep that. Christmas baby. Christmas That's right. Day. Jesus herself. Like your mum spent Christmas Day giving birth to you. I know. She never lets me forget that. Really? <laughs> Isn't it? I'm the best Christmas she present. Christmas. That's all my snacks. Ooh, dinner is served. So food. we've got some, well, we've literally got a feast here. We've got some spring rolls, some chicken, yeah, rice, rice, some chow mein, fucking hell, chicken. And then shredding we've got the Alicia duck. shredding the, the duck. Look at those skills. We've got pancakes. Oh my God, we've got, is this hot? Yeah, it's got pancakes. Do you want me to put it? Oh. Do it from the edges, because it will literally steam up. I'll put it on the table. This is hard to yeah. do it one handers. Sorry for all the veggies out here, but we've got all the dough. Look at this feast. I've got my rice and my vegetable roll already. I look ill. Is it like light here? I hate this light. I hate this light. I'm line. so excited to eat, guys. No, so I don't know what I want first. Maybe a bit of beef. Oh, yeah. I'll put it. Yeah. That's chicken and that's, that's chicken and those are spring rolls. It is now the morning and I look like shit. I didn't vlog last night because we're just having a really nice chilled night. I need to make some porridge because I'm starving. I've literally got up, I hoovered the whole kitchen, cleaned most of the parts, I haven't done them all, um, and then tidied my whole kitchen, uh, tidied my whole room because obviously I'm going home in a week today and I don't know where to put my clothes. So I've sort of like organized them sort of. Not really. So I'm going to start packing like over the week. So like I'm not sat there Saturday night rushing on my packing. I'm going to be smart about this. But I really want some porridge. 
this morning. So, because I had avocado yesterday. I'm gonna have some porridge. This is the porridge that I eat. Um, I can't weigh out oats by myself because I just eat way too much if I do that. So I get these golden syrup sachets of Quaker. Um, and they're really cute. You just like, oh my God, they're really diddy. You just cut that open and then pour milk into the sachet and put it in the microwave. It's literally the easiest breakfast you could ever think of. One of my roommates is watching this. I'm sorry, I'm using your bowl because mine has to be washed up and I haven't done it yet, so. Breakfast is served. That bowl is so hot. I hope I don't drop this. Hey, I've got like loads of work to do this morning, so I'm gonna sit at my desk. I have a video to edit and I took some pictures of my camera yesterday. So I need to export them onto my phone and edit them to go on Instagram. Got a little bit of work to do. Um, and then one of my course mates who lives, literally, she lives literally across the road. I'm gonna meet her, we're gonna go for a coffee and a walk, but I don't think I'll take you along for that just because she got there yet. Not yet. We'll get there. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. So I'm gonna go out, meet for a coffee with her, come back, and then make the roast dinner, which I'm very excited for. This is gonna be cute vibes. I don't know if to get. I don't, they're probably able to sleep, but I can't, they can't hear me. I want to get them like a little like present, but I don't know what to get them because like obviously all the shops are closed now. And so I feel like if I order something because of Black Friday, I don't think it will come in time. I don't know, I don't know what to get them. I don't, I want to get them something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go out and buy like a really nice pudding for tonight because we don't have one. Oh no, I said I was going to bake cookies. All right, I'll bake cookies then. I didn't want to get them for Christmas though. That was silly. I should have ordered something. Hello everyone. Okay, it's a little while later la. Look, uh, a little while later now. And I look super shiny. But I just went to meet one of my course mates. We had a socially distanced coffee and a walk. And that was really nice. She lives in Oak House. And she was telling me some crazy stories about Oak House. So if you've ever lived in Oak House. Fucking hell. Crazy. Props to her for living in Oak House. I don't think I could do it. It looks, no offence to Oak House, but it looks like a prison. Being serious, gives off prison vibes. I'm just gonna chill now. Um, my course mate informed me that I have an essay. Well, not I, like the whole course has an essay due on the 17th of December, um, and I didn't know. So if she didn't tell me, I would literally have not known, and I wouldn't have done it. So that's great. So I literally have about two weeks to do that, which mm, not over mm, about two and a half weeks. So that's fine. So that's next week's task. Cause I want to do that. I won't finish it, but like I want to get a good head start and like plan it before I go home. So that is great. I was literally chilling. I was like, got no work till January, like no essays to January. Yeah, fuck that. I think I might put on another episode of Olivia Meets Her Match. Because I've been watching it and I do love it. It is, she's so funny. I do love Olivia, it's so funny. Um, so basically I watched one, two, three. We then watched five and I was like, oh fuck, I'm going watch four. So I need to watch four, so I might watch that. I've watched all the Fremonese podcasts. I, w I finished that when I was doing my makeup. So yeah, I'm just going to chill. Maybe look on some Black Friday deals. Because I have been loving naked fashion at the moment. And I think they have like 40% off. So I might accidentally spend my money there. I justify it because I'm like, I'm not going out to restaurants, like bars. So like that money that I'll spend on like, like a house, a CB dress to go out and like that money, I'm just like using elsewhere. But obviously it's obviously a lot less. But I have saved quite a lot of money actually during lockdown. It's just depressing that we can't go out. Anyway. I'm gonna chill on my bed and watch Olivia meet her match before my roast. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what? I'm vlogging. What are you vlogging? Our weekend. This oh, is yeah, called the weekend vlog, silly. Do you want me to make cookies tonight? We don't have like a nice um, Christmas 
pudding because you don't like mince pies because you're illegal and i was like i'm not gonna buy six mince pies just for me because i'll eat them all this is gonna require some mathematical skills oh wow well that's what i look like oh <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a Sunday. Okay, these literally take my right, Yorkshire puddings take four minutes. This That's takes easy. 35. This takes 45. Oh shit. Okay, what? this is jump preheat that oven. To wait, do it to the potatoes. Yeah. Two hundred. This is fan 180, same thing. That's fine. Oh, oh we still have so much Chinese leftover from last night. Shit! Let's break the oven. Lydia broke the fucking oven again. <laughs> she does this every Wait, time. Wait, this knob falls off though. I don't but get it. But it's only you. It's only her that makes it fall off. Very unbelievable. Are you bitching about me, Tom? I'm My bitching blog. <laughs> okay, so first I said... You said you were going to cut that last night. Yeah, but it, I bought it because I... Oh, it says we on TikTok. So you do 100%. You do half a cup of cranberry juice, half a cup of pineapple juice, apple cider vinegar, and a lime. For what, Lydia? <laughs> just, for, what? just for life. For fun. <laughs> for, fun. Your for your health. For your health. You know. Sure. I'm surprised I haven't broken out when I literally have slept in my makeup by accident. Tonight? Last, Last night. night, yeah. Why does my eye just look red? You've been crying? No. Oh, have you been crying? <laughs> Yeah. You've been crying. Uh, I think it's like the first time you actually hug me. Okay, the chicken and potatoes are in the oven. We've got Alicia on veg. Just throwing some garlic. And I have to put these Yorkshire puddings in now. I can't believe you don't like Yorkshire puddings. I That's not that I don't like them. I just like are they a key ingredient of a roast? Yes. Meat? Are they? I yes. Feel like what the hell? On the rating. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's full. Oh, my god, that steam is blowing me. <laughs> oh my god. I'd say in a roast dinner, potato is the most important. Then the meat. Then your the the gravy. And then the Yorkshire. Do 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 Yay, roast dinner check. Roast dinner check. We didn't, we said we should have bought some nice, like, fancy drinks. So I've only got water. Oh, I'm gonna get my water. Um, what do I need? Some chuck I'm gonna. Ooh, yummy. And some chuck Um, I'm literally starving. I didn't cut this very well. Maybe I'll just grab, like. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> I did not cut this very well. <laughs> okay, that looks mad. I'm scared people it. are going to come for me and say that. Baby girls, it's seasoned. Don't worry. It's seasoned. Look I'm how here. nice it looks. <laughs> Do a taste test. Live taste test. Live go taste on. Test. Mm. Yeah, it's seasoned. Mm. Yeah, it's seasoned. It's seasoned. It's seasoned. Mm. What did you eat? Chicken. Yeah, the chicken's so nice, really isn't nice. it? Like, that's actually really nice. Told you, that's the best chicken. Nice we didn't even have to do it ourselves. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm. Right, I'm gonna eat. Demolished. Demolished. Absolutely. I'm fucking full. I had that Halo Top ice cream. Mm. So we have ice cream and cookies. In my stomach. I'm sorry. My stomach hurts. Aww. Those are mine. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Christmas dinner is sweet in December, but. I am literally so sleepy. Oh my god. <laughs> that lighting does me dirty every single time. You know when you just eat a big meal after roast and you just feel so super tired and sleepy? That is how I'm feeling right now. <sighs> I need to take my makeup off because look at my face. It's shine city. Um... I always like, I'm not like getting my feels on Sunday nights, but it's always, yeah, have you heard the saying like sad girl Sunday? That's usually because I'm like super hungover, but obviously, what is that on my sleeve? Obviously we haven't been hungover in a while, well, we haven't been hungover on a Sunday in a while. So sad girl Sunday, it's not really booming, but it, it kind of still is. I don't know, I'm just kind of talking shit. Um, but in reality, I don't know, I just, I haven't really, 
felt like myself recently. Everyone's like, how are you really feeling? Like, how is uni really? And I do show you a lot and I do, I do like talking about it and I do really love it up here. Like, I do love Manchester and the lifestyle, but like lockdown 2.0 has been a lot harder than anticipated. Like, it's been hard. And I just, I don't know, I'm just ready. Like, and then obviously, we're not even coming out of lockdown because I'm going straight into tier three in Manchester and at home. So even if I do go home, like there's no point really because I'm still in tier three. So it's just a bit of a shit show and I'm just sick of it. I really am sick of it. Like I was having, I personally thought, like I was doing so well September, like since I've got to uni to, my pony looks fucked. Like I was doing so well since I started uni till, um, until lockdown 2.0 like I was doing so well like I was having wobbles but like overall I felt all right but lockdown 2.0 has just been a lot harder than anticipated um and probably that's why content has slowed um especially on YouTube Instagram's been all right but like YouTube content has slowed because I don't like putting videos out there which I don't like if I'm not happy with a video like I don't want to post it like it gives me like it makes me feel sick posting something that I don't like yeah that's very exaggerated but that's how strongly I feel about posting things which I don't like like I just I want to be a hundred percent happy with the content I'm posting and yeah I am very picky so if I'm like vlogging and I I'm just like oh fuck this like it's not good enough or they're not gonna like it I will just pull it and not post it um because I did see a couple comments on my last Miss Pat poll which were like you look like you can't be asked the video and you look like this is just a half-hearted haul and like those comments are just like i don't know like I, yeah i never let comments get to me because i'm actually really good at dealing with comments now like you form a tough skin like i've been doing this i've only been doing this for like just over a year um but you learn very quickly how to deal with comments just like yeah, you learn very quickly how to deal with neg negative comments and I don't let it affect me. But I'm just like, I'm just like, I would never post something that I don't love. And like, I love working with Miss Pat. Those hauls are my favourite things. And I'm just like, well, you have to remember, I, like I'm doing a uni degree as well. Like I had three assessments in like one week and it was lockdown and it was just like miserable. Like the things that like cheer you up, like going out, like not even like getting fucked, but, like just going out for dinner with the girls, or, like lunch and drinks and like exploring the city. It's just not like those pleasures obviously were taking the of lockdown. And it's just like, what miserable, like I come in, like go to the library, do my assessment, come back, eat dinner. Lockdown's just hit me. And I just watched Molly May's vlog and she was saying like pretty much the same thing. Like, she just keeps crying randomly, and she just has really bad mood swings, and she doesn't know what's wrong with her, and I'm like, whoa, I can relate to that. Like, we're in a fucking pandemic, and I do forget that, and I'm like, I don't know why, but I, like, beat myself up about it, and I'm like, you should be doing so much, you should be having the best time, and I'm like, hold on, like, we're in a pandemic, like, why am I beating myself up about this? Like, I feel like I'm the only one, like, not doing things and I'm, like, missing out. And I'm like, whoa, you need to literally calm down because, like, everyone else is in the same situation. So, like, please just, like, calm down. But I don't know. I feel like I'm the only one, like, not, like, living uni life. And I really do beat myself up about it. I really need to learn not to. But I just wanted to check in with how I'm feeling because I do get DMs like, oh, I miss your vlogs. You're like... <laughs> me deep in an assignment I was like yeah I need to vlog but I'm in the library all day like vlogging is just not like vlogging can't even vlog in the library like so quiet like I can't get my camera so it's just like balancing the two and I st like I'll get used to it I'm going home for Christmas anyway I just thought I'd catch up with how I'm feeling like why I have been a little bit absent on YouTube I don't mean to be like I do I love YouTube I um, I just love it. Like, I really do like posting videos, like, reading all your nice comments. And, like, I do love it. Um, and just chatting to you. It's just nice. You feel like a nice friend that is, like, with me. You just feel like a friend that's, like, with me at all times. Like, always got someone to talk to. Anyway, I'm going to take this makeup off because I think 
I've officially outworn my makeup. Um, let me get some micellar water. I'm thinking, yeah, I showed you that app I use do week. Oh my God, I literally can't rave about it enough. I love planning my weeks now. So like, I'll plan content, I'll also plan meals. And I'm just planning content for like the next couple of weeks. Like, cause obviously I am going home and I, obviously I just found out I've got that assessment on the 17th of December so I'm just like planning content around that because then obviously next week I'm going to be in the library and I need to pack and stuff so I've got this weekend vlog I'm going to have a what I eat in a day which is going to be so cute I love that video I've already filmed that actually I just need to edit it um maybe I'll do like a Black Friday oh no oh, maybe I'll do that when I'm back home but then I'm going to do like a pack with me going home vlog that will be really sweet um what else do I need to fill and then maybe like a question to all want what's that how do you what's that what's it called like questions you've all been asking me sort of no not questions but questions you all want to know I might film like a little chatty Q&A and have like a real check-in without like instead of just like doing it in a vlog like have a proper sit down video I think that'll be nice so what's that like three videos I think so yeah planning content um and I'm ugh, I don't know why ugh, maybe I'll vlog this week as well now. but my oh my god yeah I haven't told you that have I told you this I haven't told you this uh I got my first assessment back and I got 68 percent um which is literally that's a high to one like a, a first is 70 percent of as two percent up and i was so gassed i was like oh my god i think that just like i had i was so happy that day that just gave me like the reassurance that i am doing well like at uni because obviously you don't i don't know like not being in lectures and stuff it feels like you're not at uni like it feels fake i don't i can't explain that um so yeah that like gave me like the confidence and reassurance I just need it. Give me a boost of serotonin to know that I did it well, and that counts for forty percent of like my overall grade in first year. Which obviously, first year grade does not like count. You know what I mean? It's still nice to know I'm like doing well. Like it's nice to know. So I was very happy about that, Mark. Um. Oh yeah, I get another one back on the 3rd of December. My eyes always go red, which is in a couple of days. So I will let you know what I get in that as well. But yeah, overall, to sum up this little chat, um, I have a mixture of feelings. Like I go through ups and downs every day, like getting that result. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. And then, I don't know, it goes, it goes like this. On a roller coaster of emotions in lockdown 2.0, um, which is great. Like, I'm going home next week, which I can't be more excited for. So, yeah, just a roller coaster of mood swings, which I can't even keep up with myself. And this clip is 10 minutes long, and I probably won't cut a lot out. So, I hope you all like this little, little chat, but I really want some cookies, which I'm gonna make. Oh, my so much effort to fucking bake them um but i'm gonna make some cookies and then have it with some ice cream that halo top ice cream is okay oh, i thought that that looked like a human i thought alicia had walked into my room or something anyway makeup off let's go make some cookies right look how alicia's cutting this pineapple you're literally giving me, like, you're making me feel like you're going to cut yourself. How do I peel it? You came at me so strong. I can cut I this like, pineapple. Yeah, it had you should have just bought, bought pineapple chunks, I silly. I didn't have any. Huh? I didn't have any. This is making me really up. Because I had to, like, get the skin off. <laughs> you're supposed to cut it underneath like that. Uh, or... <laughs> Making cookies. Your mom. Bake with me uni edition. No way, girls. No, I literally have to eyeball everything. Are these eggs all right? They've been on the side for quite a while. I have no idea. Oh, 
no idea. The eggs go bad. The eggs go bad, guys. Well, they must do. There's all got a date on them. Twenty third of October. Fuck, Fuck it. hell. Well, now I'm not going to make it. No, but the eggs go bad. Maybe you should Google it. The eggs go bad. Like, can I eat an egg? They're not going to answer you now. I know, but that's why I'm going to have to Google it, but they'll answer in the comments. Oh, yeah. With proper storage, eggs can last three to five weeks in the fridge. Oh. Oh. I haven't been keeping them in the fridge. Oh, no. No, that's handy. Oh. Okay, so I added half a mashed banana instead. And to be fair, it looks fine. I think I just need to add a little bit more flour. A bit of plain flour. How's your pineapple going, hon? I can't off with a little chunk and just like ate it with my hands. You should have watched a YouTube video on how to cut a pineapple because look at that. That's weak. That hey. knife do be blunt. This one is sharp. This one's blunt. Cut it then. But it's not cutting. No, I'm just. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh. <okay. laughs> Eat in the oven. There they are, cooking away. Hopefully they turn out all right because they didn't, they weren't really like the same consistency as always because I put half a banana in it. <laughs> but we'll see. Look at the dirty bowl behind me. Because I want your man. Oh! Are you all right? No, I literally just pineapple all over the floor. I thought you just sliced your finger off her and don't do no, that to me. I just dropped pineapple all over the floor that you just hoovered. <laughs> uh, I hoovered. This whole kitchen this morning. I know, I'm tired it. I was in bed. I like, did think, like, am I gonna wake her up? I was in bed and I just heard hoovering and I was like, oh. It was oh. like 11 a.m. Yeah, and it woke me up. <laughs> Sorry. It, ooh. Oh my god. Oh shit. What? I don't think I'm putting a flour in. Oh god, let me see. I do be fucking up these cookies. Wait, it's not raw, it's fine because they've got no eggs so you can just eat them like Oh no, no they look shit. I was gonna post on my Instagram, but no. Let me see. Guys, I promise I am Mary Berry. You have seen the amount of stuff that I have made. Oh no, what the fuck? Oh my god, what has oh, happened? Take them out. What has happened? Oh. The lack of the egg is really fucking me up. It's I not was nice. so confident. It's not nice. Last time I made them, no scared, but it turned out. Perfectly. Guys, do not judge me. I'm usually a really good baker. I think I did jinx Let's myself. Try it though. Like, if you what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them harden in the middle and then scoop that out. Yeah. Because around the edges it looks a bit shit. So I will come back to you with an update. <laughs> I think I was. I think I did sabotage myself. I jinxed it. Okay, this is what we've come up with. Alicia's already tried it. She says it tastes quite banana-y. I only put half a banana in it. It kind of looks like mashed up, like I cookie dough like or something. It. Do you? Yeah, but it I tastes like banana and Nutella. I think she's just saying that. No. I think she's just saying that. Oh, no. Why do you look so upset? It's nice with the ice cream. It does taste nice. Mm. This tastes like mushed up cookies. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I can deal with this. Mm -hmm. See, it's not always about the look. Mm. It's about the taste. Okay, I was just editing this video, hence what I look like. And I actually realised I'm wearing the same hoodie in the last clip but that's fine uh, i realized i didn't do an outro so thank you all so much for watching this vlog i hope you all enjoyed it um and i'll see you very soon in the next one bye